Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 72 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, Disney and Lucasfilm, that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is of course going to answer everything that we need to know about Rey, even Daisy Ridley confirmed this over at of course D23 and Star Wars Celebration that everything that the fans want to know about Rey and have been asking about Rey will be answered in this movie. So that's one good thing to look forward to and how that's all going to be utilized in this movie all depends on how of course the reshoots are going to come into play and how J.J. Abrams is going to pretty much execute everything on the big screen. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, as well as one of the sequences that were a part of the reshoots back in late 2018, this is where things begin to get very intense for the character of Rey. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that during the rewrites of the film, during the months of November and December of 2018, just late last year, is when George Lucas was significantly involved with the rewriting process and the adjustments of the second and third acts of the film. It's described that one of the scenes that made it to the final cut of the movie is said to feature a sequence in which Ray, Poe, and Finn, as well as Chewbacca, are said to go on a personal mission to the exotic city, which is said to be the place and location of the Dark Prince, who is said to be one of Leia's contacts in the film besides Lando Carizian that had connections with the First Order. However, it's said that in the film, the entire galaxy is looking for Rey, as the First Order was told a lie by Kylo Ren, that she was the one who killed Supreme Leader Snoke, and that Kylo Ren even has bounty hunters looking for her around the entire galaxy for Rey. Now, it's described that during Rey's time on the exotic world, Rey is said to go under the identity of Kira. Kira was the original name for Rey by J.J. Abrams for Episode 7. However, story-wise in Episode 9, it's explained that Rey uses the name Kira based off of a close friend of hers on Jakku that was taken away by the First Order as a child to become a stormtrooper. It's said that while Rey uses the name Kira, she also changes her appearance by letting her hair fall down and wearing a strange piece of eyewear during her mission on the exotic world that also holds a black market. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, what's really interesting about this is that J.J. Abrams is, of course, using Rey's original identity for Episode 7 in a very unique way, where she's going to use a secret name in The Rise of Skywalker, and that, of course, is a name of a close friend of hers from, of course, the world of Jakku that Rey was actually abandoned on, that she actually grew up on eventually and was able to befriend somebody that was very close to her that was eventually taken away by the First Order. Now, in case you guys did not know, Episode 9 is going to contain that side of the First Order, showing us exactly what the First Order does to, of course, certain worlds by abducting children and raising them up to be stormtroopers, basically giving us an idea of what happened to Finn and Janna, which is, of course, going to be explained in The Rise of Skywalker, since Janna was also a stormtrooper. Very interesting side of the story here. So, when it comes to Rey's mission with Poe, Finn, and Chewbacca, this is of course the world in which they are looking for the Dark Prince, which is said to be one of Leia's contacts. Now, Leia has two important contacts in The Rise of Skywalker. We got, of course, Lando, and we got the Dark Prince. Now, what's really intriguing about this, though, is that Rey goes under the name of Kira in The Rise of Skywalker, since, of course, Kylo Ren has actually spread a lie across the entire galaxy to all the First Order outposts in the Outer Rim, the Mid Rim, and other sections of the galaxy, and, of course, bounty hunters looking for Rey, that she was the one responsible for killing Supreme Leader Snoke, and that, of course, Kylo Ren is offering a reward for anybody that can find Rey, and, of course, ordering the First Order you know, forces in order to take her down if they find her. Now, that's a very interesting side of the story, is that basically Kylo Ren, at the same exact time, he's covering up his own actions of what he did to Snoke, but at the same exact time, he's using this as a way in order to find Rey faster, right? So, that's the thing here, is that we do know that Kylo Ren wants Rey for a specific reason, and that in the first act of Episode 9, that there is going to be some kind of exchange between, of course, Palpatine and Kylo, and that Palpatine wants Kylo Ren to find Rey at a certain point in time 
time in this movie because Palpatine wants something from both Rey and Kylo Ren that most likely ties directly into the other leaks that we discussed about a new power called the Force Conduit, which is actually said to only be useful between three powerful Force users. That's going to be a very interesting side of Star Wars since Chris Terrio the other day during the Empire interviews, he actually stated that there are going to be new Force powers that will be applied in this movie that fans have never seen before in the Skywalker saga. And I think that's going to be a very inspiring piece by Disney and Lucasfilm and what they really want to do for Rey and Kylo Ren as characters. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.